and hello everyone and welcome to WizKids YouTube channel. I am the Muse. I will be hosting you this afternoon for Mini Mayhem. I am very excited for the variety I have to share with you today and today it's very much a D&D themed event. I have some cool things to share with you, some great news to share with you as well. And uh, I did manage to get a hold of a booster. I know how much you all enjoyed my opening up the boosters and the surprise of finding out what's inside. So I did snag one, which we'll take a look at at the very end this afternoon, and you can uh, see what's inside the box. Now, for those of you who may have uh, missed it, I'm going to share some news with you in just a sec, but before we get there, First of all, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, please be sure to jump on down, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna know when we're going live with events like this, as well as when we upload videos, make sure to ring that bell as well and you will get those notifications. So like I said today, it's going to be a very D&D &D themed afternoon. And in case you missed it, I'm gonna share with you some exciting news that we revealed on Monday. So I'm gonna be, uh, right with you right now. Hey, and welcome everyone. I'm Be Muse with WizKids, and I'm here to share some exciting news with you all today. There is now a new way for DMs and players to get your hands on your favorite Dungeons & Dragons products by WizKids. Introducing Shop Dungeons & Dragons powered by WizKids, an all new online store offering a variety of D&D products perfect for your tabletop accessory needs. To visit the store now, simply type dndmini.com into your browser. Place pre-orders for upcoming releases. Search for that much-wanted item to add to your current campaign. Even see what else is going on for all things D&D. Shop now and orders over $50 get free shipping in the U.S. Minimum purchase of $9.99 required for all orders. For those of you outside the U.S., please keep an eye out for future announcements about shipping options in your area. But that isn't all, folks. For a limited time, orders of $100 or more will receive the exclusive Yeti Tyke promo, featuring three adorable pre-painted minis while supplies last. Get on over there today and check out all there is to offer. And don't miss out on your chance to receive the special promo of these fantastic miniatures just in time for the much anticipated release of the Icewind Dale Rime of the Frost Maiden campaign. Happy shopping! Okay, so. As you can see, there is a new way to shop for your D&D miniatures and needs of products that WizKids provides for Dungeons & Dragons. And that is if you go to www.dndmini.com, that is where you can get access to all the various lines and products and everything that WizKids has for D&D, &D, even down to the different campaigns and everything like that. And I do want to touch upon this just a little bit. And it looks like my sound, give me just a second here. It looks like my sound is getting a little little happy here. One second. One moment, please. I don't want to blast your ears out. Uh, so it looks that uh, that helped it a little bit. So basically what's happening is you are now getting a new way to shop for D&D &D miniatures and everything like that. And a lot of the impetus behind this is because while we very much always encourage you to please check out everything at your FLGS, we do understand, especially in the current environment, that isn't always the easiest way to go right now. So in order to make it more accessible for everyone, there is now this D&D focused store so that people can go to the store, go shopping, get the miniatures, get the products and everything that they've had their eyes on. And it is now more accessible because it is an online option. So if your FLGS store is one that is still unfortunately closed, you can look here as a source. Or if it's a matter of you are in an area where there isn't an FLGS, well then by all means, please do check out this website. Um, I've been going around and looking through it and there's some really neat ways you can go shopping. You can go through thematically, whether it's a specific campaign, you can go and take, out, take a look at the pre-orders and what's going to be coming soon and everything like that. Right now, it is open to US, however, stay tuned for future announcements regarding shipping. So I'm gonna share that little tidbit with you too. 
all right? Uh, but the thing that I'm going to have fun sharing with you, and hello, was it Filarius? I hope I got that right, Filarius. And oh, Leonardo, thank you so much for saying good morning as well. Good morning to you. I always appreciate the uh, good mornings and the hellos in the chat. If you have a question while I am chatting, well, I like to think with you because I have the chat, but while I'm chatting, if you have a question, as always, just in caps, question, then type in your question so that I can see it a lot easier from where I'm sitting because my, my laptop's pushed over to the side. So it's just a little, little bit faster way for me to see those questions as they come through. So that's basically what's happening with the D&D &D shop. D &D, yeah, D &D, rewind shop Dungeons and Dragons powered by WizKids is the official name of the store. Uh, and that is the fun little advertisement we have going around for that. And the promo that is going on are the Yeti Tykes promo boxes. This is something where if you go to shop Dungeons and Dragons powered by WizKids, otherwise www.dndmini.com, if you go there and you spend over $100, you will receive while supplies last, okay? This is like, you know, this is my doing my asterisks above my head while I say this. While supplies last, you are going to get one of the Yeti Tyke promos. And this is something that goes perfectly with the um, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden campaign that's recently come out, all right? So I thought it'd be fun to show you the box. I've already taken the minis out just to make it faster. I'm gonna show you the box. I'm gonna show you the minis so you can get a closer look at what these are adorable little miniatures look like because they cute. Um, and uh, let's see, hello, Joseph, how are you as well? So I'm gonna switch to my overhead. And as always, if anything's off with audio, let me know so I can tweak that as well. And here we go, overhead. Okay, so here is the box itself. You have the gorgeous artwork of the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, the Icewind Dale art. And you can see the cold crone right there and then you wrap around to the back and you'll see the pictures of the three tykes that you're gonna get, all right? Um, and they're sort of posed in the whole, uh, you know, they each have a specific pose, which I think is really sweet. You have one that's holding a bone, one that's sort of like hands up, stop, and the other one is gnawing on a fish. But that's basically the box in which they come. And then let's take a look at the little ones themselves and this I have a feeling yeah I do need to quickly adjust here the camera focus because other things we have coming in aren't quite so we there we go so here is the first Yeti type this is the one who has their hands out like whoa stop hold on and as you can see they have these very vivid blue eyes this grayish white coat the gray hands and they come on a black base and underneath you will see this is Yeti Tyke 3. And these are something that are not going to be sold in store, limited edition type of situation. And again, if you spend $100 or more at Shop Dungeons & Dragons powered by WizKids, this is your promo gift that will come with it. So that's the first little cutie pie, who I just think is adorable. Uh, okay, that's a very good question, Casey Cal uh, Kay Calkins. I get that right? So with that, you do have the option to have your order uh, collected and then shipped when the pre-order comes out. Or you can opt to split your deliveries. I believe your tykes will come when your first round is how it should work, all right? That is, I believe, the method. I can double check and find out, but if I am not mistaken, don't hold me to this 100%, but your tykes should come in the first shipment of the order that is the uh, product list of things that are already out and will be shipped to you ahead of time before your pre-order if you opt to split your shipment. Does that make sense? Um, so that is the first one. And hello, Gallant Goblin, how are you doing? Good to see you in the chat. If you haven't, you need to go, why am I pointing over here? You need to go to Gallant Goblin. Make sure to subscribe and follow this amazing channel. They do some fantastic videos of our products. They have something coming out almost a lot, actually, weekly, if not more. Uh, so please be sure to check them out and subscribe as well. They are another great resource for WizKids product reviews. Big thumbs up to them. And uh, thank you so much, guys, for all your help, as always. So that was uh, the first little type. That was Yeti number three, but that was my favorite, so I had to start with that one. This is my second favorite. And this is the little one holding the bone. Again, the vivid blue eyes, same gray white coat, little pointy ears that stick out and they even have these little horns, which you can see up there. 
And this one is Yeti Tyke 1. You can see they're just holding this, this bone in their hand, almost like they're offering it to you, which I think is just so sweet. So that's, oh, that is, uh, <laughs> that's my unpacking something with foam on it. Um, so the little, little snowflake was not included. <laughs> but here's this cutie pie. Got that one. And actually here, I have a, um, do -do -do -do. I have a mini, I have a medium mini I can show you for scale. So you can see the size between the two, okay? I always keep her on my desk because I know she's a quick and easy mini to grab for a medium size reference. Plus the red always shows up nicely. Go figure. All right, so that's the second. And here is the last one who is Ampa Chompin on a fish. I believe it's a knucklehead trout, which is another one of the fun things you can do in the Icewind Dale Rhyme of the Frostbin campaign. You can go fishing. But same situation, simple black base. The pose is just different. Chowing down on some dinner. Maybe it's lunch or maybe it's a snack. And this one is Yeti Tyke too. So it's these three that you will get in this box. All right. When you go and you place your first order with www.dndmini.com and you spend 100 plus, that is uh, what you will receive. And that is also while supplies last. And if you did look at the commercial, there is the option. If for some reason you don't want these, you can opt out of it if you'd rather not receive the free minis, which totally up to you if that's what you would like to do. Uh, let me just quickly flip over here and see. Yes, they are absolutely adorable. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go and grab, do I have it up here or did I take it down? Oh, I don't have it with me. I thought I left the uh, adult Yeti up here, but I left him down in my other collection, <laughs> my, my mini collection downstairs. So what I want to jump over to now is a product that people were responding to once we made the announcement about this store that people were getting very excited about. And these are uh, a new line of miniatures that are going to be coming out and they are called, let me just flip up here. All right, and these are the D&D Idols. Okay, we have Icons of the Realm, which are our pre-painted miniatures, the ones that come in the boosters, that one, the ones that come in the premium sets. Uh, this line is called the Idols of the Realm, and these are our essential kits of 2D miniatures. So there are going to be four packs coming out. This is Monster Pack number one. You're also gonna have Monster Pack two, Player Pack, well, one, I believe, and Sidekick as well. So we're gonna take a look at all of these today, but I wanted to show you what these look like in packaging first and show you what happens when you open these up and everything like that. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and give you a rundown of what you can expect in each pack in terms of uh, which creatures, which characters and everything. So we're gonna be looking at all four of these packs today. And this is something that product-wise, I'm very excited about as a DM, all right? I have had to travel in the past. And let me tell you, if I had something like this when I had to go over to England to do the castle stuff, this would have made my packing so much easier. Uh, so these are a great option, especially for DMs who travel because they are so space saving. They're also great for those who are starting to get into the whole uh, miniature collection. You wanna start using miniatures on your table to help your players, to help yourself when you're setting everything out. It's a great source to grab these and you'll start building a miniature collection quickly. These are $14.99 each, okay? Not all four together, they're all sold separately. Uh, but it's a great way to get started. So this is what it looks like when you get them. They come in this clear plastic blister, all right? It's got a wider base on it so you can actually set it down on a table or a shelf, that type of situation. And you will have uh, these little tabs on the top and on the side when you go to open it for a warning. It sort of keeps them closed along with this clamshell factor of the buttons that keep it shut. All right, so this is the packaging itself. And keep in mind, each of these sets has a different mini count. So I'm going to be specifically mentioning how many of the minis you're gonna be getting in each of these packs as well. What do you say we take a quick look at these? Well, not a quick look. We're gonna take a very detailed, specific look at these. I'm gonna open up this one. All right, this is gonna be fresh out of the box for me and for you because I wanna show you what you can expect when you get a hold of these and explain the bits and pieces to them. So here we are back in overhead. And here I need to, <laughs> because of the cutie pies, I need to readjust my focus again. 
One moment, please. Come on, camera. Play nice. Play nice. Uh, there. That'll be good. And then I can raise it up a little bit so you can see in more detail. Okay, so here's what the packaging looks like. And like I said before, it's just a matter of... Oh, this might be loud. Try not to do that near the microphone. So it pops open. And actually, you can see, just like that, like I said, clamshell. And you're going to get these two sheets of acrylic clear plastic inside. So this is the first sheet. You have this pretty sky piece in between. Or is it a mountain? It's a mountain. I take that back now that I'm looking at it. That's a mountain. So you have this pretty artwork of a mountain in between. And then, as my lip gloss catches my hair, you have a second sheet. So this is monster pack number one. All right, let me put the clamshell to the side because we don't need this anymore. And this is what they look like when you receive them. All right, so you can see that these come painted up. All right, and they are highly detailed. You have a front and you have a back. All right, it's not that situation where you turn them around and you see that it's just the same thing on either side. I, you know, that's something that I have seen in the past with others, but you get the full sort of front and back factor going on here. Now, they are not going to just pop out of the sheet, the acrylic sheet. There is, right up on the top here, pardon me, there is a clear, sticky plastic film that is on the top. So you're going to want to just carefully and easily start to pull it back. I find it kind of helps to pull to one side, then you start pulling to the other. Okay. Just gently, don't rip this off. Okay. I know it's, it's, it's exciting. They're fun. This is not like opening a Christmas present when you're four years old and forget the wrapping paper um, or any type of present for that matter, whether it's birthday gift or just because. So you just want to carefully peel this back. Slow and steady, I have found, is the best way to do it because that way it keeps the smaller pieces from getting pulled up in the film and accidentally getting crumpled up in the plastic. Just something to keep in mind. And then on the back, <laughs> it's like having a windy day, but not. You're going to have the same kind of plastic film, okay? So you can, you can hear that. What I do is I will start out by popping out the bases just to kind of give me a point to start working in to... Get that film pulled up and then same thing just start see that's what i mean sometimes that'll happen so then just get it started and you'll find as you pull you can put pressure on the piece and it'll go through and fall to the other side once it's free okay so this is what's going to be the case when you go to open this up you're going to have to remove these layers of sticky plastic film to get your miniatures out. This one wants to come out the top. But I want you to see the details on these because these are really a very cool and very neat option. For those of you, like I said, if you're just starting to get into DMing and you want to actually have something on your table, fantastic resource. If you are a DM who travels, <laughs> like myself, um, this is another great option because of how compact everything is. In fact, I'm going to try a fun little experiment at the end once I have all of these out just to show you how little space, what little space they take up. Oh, this one's being stub on. Oh, pop that down. And then more of these. All right, so this is what it looks like once you, let me clear the clutter. So this is what it looks like once you get everything popped out, okay? Now, with this, you have some different base sizes. So I'm gonna explain this to you. So you'll see you have this clear base with a circle on it. That is for a large creature character, all right? So circle means large. You go down here, you have, it looks like, uh, it depends on how you're holding the circle. You have a diamond or a square shape. That is going to be for your medium size, okay? And then we have a triangle. Triangle means it's for small. So that's the breakdown of the different base sizes here. So we have large, medium, small for your measurements. Now let me jump over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna, since we have repeats, I'm not gonna put them all together. 
but I will show you. And some of the film pulls away a little bit faster than others, I will say that. Like this one you can see is a little bit more inclined to pull away. Okay, so top sheet off. I'm sure that sounds eh, rogue base. I'm sure that sounds lovely in the microphone. Um, hello from Portugal, how are you doing? And then, like I showed you before, sometimes it just helps to pop out a couple bases ahead of time. And then you can get the film started on the other side. And then just read carefully. The one side going. And the other. And I'm doing this twice simply because I want to be able to get the other pieces for this whole set so I can show you one of each. Like I said, there's repetition of some of them, not all of them. This one just wants to stick, so does this one. So we'll take a look at one of each, so you can see. But the variety of monsters in both one and two, quite frankly, they're good classic go-tos um, that even I as a DM have definitely made use of a few of these, especially with newer players. Ooh, we're almost there. Come on, my, come away, come away with me. No, I shouldn't do that because I'm gonna copyright strike, right? Ooh! <laughs> Just taking a quick look. Yeah, that is a very good point, Leonardo. Your comment about how having these will be a great way to get a quick group pulled together. Absolutely. Like it's like I said, this is a good, quick way to start getting a miniature collection established, especially if you haven't started into it yet. I know a lot of people sometimes get intimidated by either trying to get into miniature painting, which, you know, I am more than happy to help people learn how to paint minis. Or they may not even have the space for 3D miniatures. That's another thing that is a very real issue when you start a collection is, do you have enough space for everything? And like I said before, these are great for space saving. These Sturges do not want to play nice. There we go. Well, they never want to play nicely. Who are we kidding? All right, so that is everything. And again, you can see you get this frame in the clear acrylic plastic. And what you do with these is up to you. Whether you want to keep these, your call. Personally, I'm going to have these in a container uh, just to keep them all nicely collected. Not necessarily on their bases, but then we can take bases. It's probably gonna be like a fishing tackle box, to be honest. That's one of the ways I store my minis. Uh, so that being said, let me get, hold on, I need to get my references out. All right, so you are going to be getting in monster pack number one, 17 minis in total. Now, remember I said there are some that have repeats on this. So it's a more than one situation. And many of these are coming from uh, stats that you can find in basic rules as well as in the monster manual for D&D. So the first one I wanna show you here is the, now I get to kind of hunt and peck and find, is the Banshee. So you're gonna get one Banshee. And again, medium creature, medium base, it clicks right into place. And here you can see your banshee. So that was the back and here is the front. Let me see if I can play with this. Just I'm gonna play with the zoom once again. Now that we're off the table and I wanna start featuring these more close up. There we go, that's better. So here you can see the face and the front of it, the detail on the back. And like I said before, if you see a diamond or square, that means it is a medium base. So that's the Banshee you will get in this set, and you get one, all right? Then you have the Carrion Crawler, which those are fun. And they do have, on the bottom here, they have their names as well as the symbol as to which base to put them into, okay? Now I have my little, hee <laughs> Oh, little spyglass here. So I'm gonna see if I can get this to focus so you can see what I'm talking about. So see, you can see right there, there is a circle, there is its name. So I know I need a large base for my carrion crawler. And in that goes. But here you can see, again, it's that lovely D&D artwork on a 2D mini. Isn't that fun? 
All right, let me put that one to the side. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're getting to the half hour mark. Um, hello from Wales, Matthew. Thank you for joining. And I'm just quickly looking here. Yes, I'm gonna be opening that one up so you can see. Uh, I have Monster 2 already open so you can take a look at everything. I really want you to see all of these because they're lovely. They truly are lovely. Um, then we have the centaur, who is here. All right, and that is another large. So I'm getting my circle disc with a circle on it and then just clicking him into place. And here is the centaur. I love the pose, the inaction motion of it. So you have him, tuck that there. And now we have will-o'-wisps and there are three of these. And these go onto the little ones. So the ones with the triangle, because these are small, and they go on. But look at that. The artwork is fantastic. So that's what they look like for the will-o'-wisps. And those you get three. Now we have the ghouls. Oh God, I hate, I hate encountering ghouls, but they're fun to use as the DM. <laughs> so medium to ghoul. I'm just a ghoul out in the wild. I kid. All right, so in the base, here is the front. Look at that detail, the claws extended. That's a lot of fun. And here is the back, you get the musculature. And they are, like when the light starts to play through them, with my studio lighting, it gets a little tricky to show you how the light plays through them. But when the light plays through them, this detail pops out even more so when it's on the table. So it's really a fun and, you know, other option for you if you want to be able to use miniatures, but not the, you know, full big 3D miniatures. Uh, let's see here. Uh, imagine a monster pack, mainly the undead. <laughs> so many skeletons. And uh, da, 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 da. from there, we're going to go on to with the harpies. Two harpies. You get two harpies, and those are medium. So into a medium base, she will go. And this one is in for the attack pose. But you can see you get the extended wings, the clenched hands, and on the back is what it looks like from the back. So you get the feather detail and everything, which I think is beautiful. And again, two of those. What I should do is just scooch these out of the way, the ones that I've already shown. Did the ghoul, did the ghoul. And here we are then moving on to the manticore, which is another large and another one. This is a onesie. Well, not the outfit, but it's a, comes as a one. And first of all, the face. You have that grinning, sardonic, I'm gonna get ya expression to this manticore, which I think is fantastic. So here you have the full details, the claws, part man, part dragon, all that, you know, lion, all of those different elements coming into play here with the manticore. So that's the front. And it's a different pose than what we have for our Nolzer's manticore as well. But you can see here is the back detail. See there's the texture that's going on in the wings, protrusions and the horns, pads of the feet. Really cool stuff. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> yeah, isn't that true, Raphael? Whenever you, you get a new mini, the reactions will vary. I mean, I know there are a few people whose DMs are getting the Shardlin dragon and <laughs> Not everyone's excited for that to pop up on the table. I can't imagine why. And here we have the Mimic. Okay. So here's the Mimic from the Monster Pack. And this is the Keg Mimic, which I have put to use and they are so much fun. I highly recommend you do a Keg Mimic. If you haven't run an encounter with a Keg Mimic, do it. I've done it um, three times now, two times combat ensued. The last time someone they managed to befriend it because the dice rolls were ridiculous. And I'm one of those DMs. I'm like, you know what, for the story, this is hysterical. Yeah, sure, you have a new pet. Uh, but they have to keep doing animal handling checks and uh, other things like that to make sure the Mimic does not go rogue, so to speak. Uh, so that's the Mimic. And then we have Needle Blights, and you have three of these. Medium base. And then, here we go. Face forward. You can see that. 
and there's the back profile of them. And just for reference sake, since I have a medium, here's your medium to a medium. All right, so right on the money. You have that scale going. And then finally we have the Sturges and you get four of these, which quite frankly, I'm very excited for because Sturge minis are not in great supply. This one might be tricky because of, there we go. Um, but there's a Sturge. So it's on this longer clear post, as you can see, and its artwork is up towards the top. So it looks like they're in mid flight type of situation. Let me see if I can focus that just a touch more. Let me see what I can do here. Cause I do want you to see the artwork. There we go, we're getting better. And that gives you an idea of it. Of course, now that I'm trying to hold it steady, my hand's like, no, we're gonna tremble. But that's the Sturge, okay? So that is everything you will get in the Monster Pack 1. That being said, we're gonna move over to Monster Pack and that comes with four, 14, <laughs> 14 miniatures in that one. Um, quickly just checking over to the chat and make sure oh, we're doing well. Okay, so you will be getting, actually let me go down the list to make sure I'm grabbing everyone. You will be getting two wear rats. So here is the wear rat. I need to fix the focus again since I brought it in for the Sturge. So here's the wear rat front and back, two, two of those. I'm gonna list these off, I'm gonna pull them and tuck them over here. And then along with that, you get your invisible stalker, front, back of that one. You get all the swirly details. It's very similar to the artwork that's in the book, which is fun. So this is monster pack two. And then you are getting two Anchorite of Talus, and that's a Dragon of Ice Spire. These are pulling from uh, Monster Manual, Basic Rule, and this one is specifically from Dragon of Ice Spire, just so you're aware of where you can find stats and everything on these. But there's two of those in the Monster Pack too. And even the cloak, you can see the fun, if I get in the right zone, you can see the fun texture that's put into the illustration. Two of those. And then from that, we have orcs. The orcs, I love the way these orcs look. Menaces. Here is the orc front. Again, on a medium base. You can see the back, you get all the fur and everything. Orcs are fun. I've painted, I've painted the Nolzers version of these and they're a lot of fun to paint too, but fantastic option if you want pre-painted, takes up less space, ready to go. Absolutely. Okay, so we have that pop that down and then from there we have two vine blights these are another one that I've used lots I use them in uh, the Margrave though I think so another really cool beastie to use upon your players you get two of those really between the two monster packs you have a good variety of blights I will say that so if it's something where you want to throw your players into a mix of a whole bunch of different blights you know, maybe you're dealing with a little uh, uh, That would be a really great resource. So you can quickly pull together all of this. Uh, then we're gonna move on to the ogre. There's one ogre. And here is this menace to society. Look at that with a R. Jaws are open, fangs are out. Club in hand. Look at, this guy likes arm day. Absolutely likes arm day for sure. But there's your ogre. And then we have the, the young white dragon. Here's your young white dragon, which is large, only one. Very similar to the artwork that you've seen before. And I love how, I'm really pleased quite frankly with the switch over from front to back. It's beautifully done. You don't have the bleed through of the front sort of echoing into the back art and vice versa. So there's that one. And then we have uh, Gorth, the, here we go. Here's here's the boar. Here's Gorthok the Thunder Boar. Who, now that's a good sized boar. This is a fun one. Um, and this is another Dragon of Ice Spire one as well. Okay, so if you're looking for stats on this one, Dragon of Ice Spire, 
head over to that work and you can find stat block for encounter purposes there. So there's the front. Well, it's actually, it's more side to side, not so much front to back, because if it was front and back, it'd just be like this little, not little, but it'd be this large, like roundish shape. So we've done side profile on this instead. But you can see you have the details coming along, the electricity streaming out and down, and you have the fur. Not fun. I just think it's amazingly wonderful. And again, you're on that clear, large base. So you have that. And yeah, I have a whole set of, I have the list set next to me because there's a lot of these and it's more because I wanna make sure we're getting the right counts established for you. Um, so that is that one. And then we have, did I forget one? I may have skipped over. Oh yeah, the twig bites. So you have two twig bites. Which they're in that realm of let me shift. There we go. Front and the back. So you get two of those. Now you see them. So that is Monster Pack 2. So Monster Pack 1, Monster Pack 2. Uh, again, for Monster Pack 2, it is 14 miniatures involved in the uh, setup. So you get all of those in Monster Pack 2. Now we're gonna shift over to Player Pack. And Player Pack is great for anyone who needs to get uh, uh, an establishment of PCs, basically. You can also use them for NPCs if you should so choose, but these are the more generic setup things. Sidekicks is where things get a little bit more detailed. So in the Player Pack, you are getting 19 minis, all right? And uh, let's start off first with, you get Riding Horses. Again, it's more of a side-to-side -side view in the presentation here. Let me fix the focus again once more. So that's one side. That is the other side. So you can see everything saddle, pack, all ready to go. Reins up and over. And you get three. Three of these in the player's pack. And then from there, you have the skeletal horse, which is another large one. So you have the large, like I said before, circle on the base means it's large. So here's one side. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Even the blanket's like all tattered and shredded. And then you have the other side for the skeletal horse. I, I This one I'm honestly quite keen upon just because of how cool it looks, especially with the clear acrylic and the artwork done on it. You really get that sense of a skeletal being in your presence, which is just so awesome. I'm here for that completely. All right, so now I'm going to move on to, I'm gonna put these where I can better, better root them. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to our halflings. So we have a halfling fighter, which is right here. Look at that. And then the back. And then we have our halfling rogue. Right there and right there with the spell effect going on there. You can see that. So you have that. And then we're gonna move on to our dwarfs. So you get a dwarf wizard, fighter, and cleric. So let's go with our cleric first. Here's the dwarf cleric. See? The front. I, I was actually about to turn this so you could sh see the shield better. I'm so used to 3D minis. <laughs> but it gives you a sense of the detail that goes into these. I love the effect here of the spell going on. So that is the cleric. Here is the wizard. Pull it back just a little bit. Look at that intensity of the blue. I love that blue color. You get the back detail. And then we have our fighter. Well, that's his back. Let's show, no, that was his front. <laughs> that was his front. Where's your fate? There we go. So all armored up, as you can see, with the beard braided coming out and down. Ready for battle. Hammer and sword in hand. Okay, so that are our, that is our dwarves. Um, it is beautifully done artwork, Matthew. I, I agree, it's, it's good artwork. It's just front and back. The fact that you get the front and the fact you get the back put into account truly wonderful. Uh, now we're going to move into our elves. You get a lot of elves in this set as well for your player pack. And this one is the rogue. 
front, come back. I love the colors on this one with the greens and the oranges. Really sharp. Just such great detail. And now we move on to, I believe this is our cleric. And there's one side. And again, these are all elves that I'm showing you right now. There's the back. <laughs> I'm just double checking my list here. And then the cleric. And there's the back again. I'm going to take a quick sip of water. I'm getting quiet because my throat is getting scratchy. There's that one, who I think looks... I love the way the cape is flowing. Mm -hmm. And the positioning too, with the arm raised up. The more dynamic the pose, the more I'm just like, yes, please get that on the table. Here you have the bard, which is very similar to the bard of the Nolzer's version. Flip over. There we go. I'm trying to get it so it's more in focus for you. So there's the bard. And then we have, I believe this is our fighter. Now, this is this is why I said be careful when you I got too eager and a little piece did come off. This is my bad. Um, so just be careful when you're peeling this away. But this is the fighter. I can go back in and fix it myself, but that was an oops a daisy on my, I went and like did one of these things. So don't pull too hard on that plastic. All right, just be careful when you're removing the film because I did that. And then we have the wizard right there with the spell effect coming out and shooting from the hand with the blue robes. It's a really great selection of player miniatures to work with. Now we're moving on to our humans, okay? So here we have the human robe, front and back detail. Look at that sword. I just, oh, the icicles coming down. Excellent touch. Here we have the wizard. Right there. I mean, even the details on the staff. I love that. Good touch. And this is cleric, human cleric. Front and back, look at the book. It's so much fun. And the colors are so vivid. That's the other thing that are really, right? The, we're talking about the same thing, filler. Is it fillerious? Valerius, I'm gonna say Valerius. Um, that's what I'm also locking onto is how bright and vivid the colors are, which is really awesome to see, especially when it's on a table. It makes the tablescape that much more intricate and lively when you're getting scenes set up. And there's the fighter. So that is player pack. That's everything you get in player pack. Again, that is 19 minis that come in this one, all the 2D. Uh, you get your three horse mounts, you have the skeletal, and then you have the rest are all PCs, basically. Or like I said, you could use them for NPCs if you so choose. Finally, we're gonna get to the sidekicks, which I thought, quite frankly, this is my favorite pack out of all of them because of the uniqueness of some of these. Um, so first up, we have Petunia the Cow, who I think is just, it's really sweet and adorable. Let me just quickly shift my paper a little bit. And uh, these are coming from, again, uh, we have Stormlord's Wrath Appendix B. Uh, you'll find a lot of information from many of these sidekicks as well as some from Dragon of Ice Spire. For those of you who might be looking for stat blocks and everything like that, when you get this set, just keep that in mind. Um, I was going through my D&D Beyond account and double checking things. So here's Petunia the Cow. And along with Petunia, you will be getting an ox as well, okay? You get these two. And I am resisting the urge to moo. That's, that's the voice DM in me wanting to <laughs> But you get those two. Let me shift the paper out of the way. 
so it's not making the flare happen. And then we're gonna go through, you have, I'm gonna get the generic ones first. Uh, then we have the veterans and you get five of these. Five of these fellows will be coming in your sidekick pack. Like that, all right. And from there you have your rock gnome recluse. And those, let me double check, I think we have eight. Let me double check my list here. Yeah, there are eight of these little fellows. So it's a rock gnome recluse. All ready to get going. Put those are your front and your back. And you get a, a whole bunch. Pull out a couple. No, that's no, that's Ruby. Come here, you. So you can just do a whole bunch of these guys, which you can filter around and use however you see fit. But eight of those in that pack. Hold on. I'm just making sure I am shifting and getting to who I need to get to now. And now we're getting into the more personalized ones. So let me see here. Uh, first up, you have San Jan Kwan. Right there. I love the robes. And the wraps around the feet. Really nicely done. Tuck that over there. And then next up we have Nib Adelspur. And where, where is Nib? Nib is small. Give me a second. No. No, you're not Nib. Here we go. Here's Nib. All right, so here's Nib Adelspur. Front and back. <laughs> Happy bait. I just saw that. Yes, I too am smitten with Petunia. Petunia is quite endearing. Quite frankly, if I were running a game and my players became fond of Petunia, you know, she could help carry things. So that is Nib, and now I need Galandro. Where are you, Galandro? Galandro Luna. Here's Galandro. I love this pose. This just, it's fantastic. The slight smirk on the face. That's wonderful. And again, just the detail in the artwork. I very much appreciate the detail that goes into all of these. Um, it's, it's well done. So there's Galandro. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo, going to, I'm going down my list on purpose here just to make sure. Uh, Donna Bella Fiasco is next up. Where, Donna Bella? There you are. Here we go. There's Donna Bella Fiasco. I just, I love the pose. Hands on hips. It's wonderful. And the ones I'm listing right now, I believe those are the ones that you can find in the Stormlord's Wrath Appendix B. You get portraits and everything that goes along with it. Your stat blocks, information, all that goodness, which is quite helpful for a DM. Okay, so we have her, and now we have Inverna Night, Inverna, Night Breeze. I know you're in here. Here we go. Here's Inverna. Double daggers going on here. Holsters set and ready. But that's this particular 2D mini. And then from there, we're moving on to <laughs> Pickle Pete. I'm sorry, it's just such a fun one to say. Pickled Pete, turn around, darling. Look at this fellow. This is actually one I want to try and incorporate, even if I just like pick him up and move him somewhere else and put him for my own use in a campaign somewhere. But I love it. Walking around, jug in hand, tool case in the other. Just a fun, just a fun one to take, take a look at. Uh, then we have Quinn High Topple. Where is Quinn Hightable? Yeah, here we go. Right there. Is it, wait, is that Quinn? No, 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 no. That's not Quinn, what am I thinking? Looking at the wrong, here we go. Here's Quinn. <laughs> eh. Try again. Quinn High Topple. Grab the one next to Quinn. They'll be showing up soon as well. I, the grin on their, oh. Trying to see if I can get, let me get closer, because just the expression on the face alone. 
Look at that. A little smirk going on. Trouble. Trouble. Okay, so that's Quinn. And then flipping over to Don John. Here we go. <laughs> Don John Raskin. He was next in line. I like actually I like this white because it kind of gives like that whole you know when someone's spinning the slingshot and you get like sort of that visual effect going. There you go with this fellow. We're almost there. Uh, then we have Ruby Hammerwacker. Talk about attitude. I love it. And the colors too. So here's Ruby. And again, if you want stat blocks on all of these, this is the one from the uh, Storm Lords. Appendix B. And fine, no, not finally, almost there, almost there. Then we have Talon Thornwild. Move my fingers so you can see full detail. Front and back. The leather clothing. Isn't that great? Just this sort of serene expression, like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Fantastic. And finally, finally, Falcon the Hunter. Bow extended with arrow notched, all set and ready in that crouched down position. Like I said before, I really appreciate when the positioning, and this is what I really want to show. Look at the way that cape looks. Just the way the detail's done. It's like you almost want to be able to tuck your finger right under that cape but it shows beautifully with the shadow work. So that is, uh, yeah, that's the last specific sidekick that comes with name. All right, so that's Falcon. So those are all of the miniatures you get in this set. In this one, the sidekicks come with 27 minis, okay? So it's a really fantastic selection between all of these different packs of these 2D setups. And again, if it's something where you're moving into starting to DM or starting a miniature collection because you want to do something on table, even if it's something where you want to do, you might be playing from home and streaming with your friends, it's something you could very easily, I'm going to flip to main screen here, it's something you can very easily put on a table and share a separate camera as you're running your game online so people can see what's going on because you can see these nicely on the table too because you have those bases you can tell the sizes and everything like that. Really a fantastic way to set up minis. and. Um, most of this is all going to fit into a night. I thought I brought it. I have a Tupperware container. I'm going to put these into like just a nice square uh, six by six measurement one. And this is all going to fit in there beautifully. For now, what I plan on doing is just getting a tackle box. You can find them anywhere, like any department store type of thing in the uh, fishing section. And you can take those and sort of rearrange your compartments so you can stack in your different miniatures and your bases. And that way you just grab the case and you can go quite easily to wherever your destination is, especially if you're a traveling DM or if it's a matter of storing them away because you don't have a lot of space. Again, super fantastic way to be able to contain these miniatures and keep everything organized too. So speaking as a DM quite personally and speaking as one who loves to use miniatures, these are a fantastic resource to get things going and to get things started. Or if you are traveling or if it's something where space is an issue, Again, another fantastic way to go with these. Um, so keep your eye out for more of these as we come down the line. There are there are things in the works that I think everyone's gonna be very excited about and very much looking forward to. And um, so that being said, what do you say we have some fun and open up a booster? Okay, let's do that. I always love opening these up because they're just fun to discover what we have. So. Keep in mind, we have reprints that come through every so often. We have a big wave of reprints happening. So if there is something you've had your eye on, and it's a matter of it, it's not in supply right now, or your um, FLGS cannot get a hold of it, good news is the reprints are coming out. So I am going to open up the Icons of the Realms Monster Menagerie 3 booster. All right. And you guys can take a look at what we have inside. Remember with these, you get a large and then a combination of three small or mediums. It depends, you know, blind box you get to see what happens when you open it up uh, but this is the one of the ones coming down the pipeline in the reprints so if you like what you're seeing here then again mention it to your FLGS that you are looking for this particular thing and it comes in a brick option which is eight of these stacked all together don't remember the pricing off the top of my head uh, but 
eight of these come stacked together or you can purchase uh, separately as individual boosters and usually the boosters range in pricing from i want to say 14.99 up to 18.99 and uh, just to give you a idea of cost so i'm going to open up this one and see <laughs> i love i love that say i'm gonna actually what i want to try and do um for the streams is see if i can grab a booster and just sort of open it up and we have the fun of taking a look so let's go back to overhead and Ooh, I don't know how I feel about this focus. Let's see here. Might, well, I don't need these anymore. I will also be adding in the details of the description below what you can get in each of these packs, by the way. I didn't have time this morning to add them in before the stream started, but I will make sure you have a full list of what is in the 2D Essentials Idols of the Realm packs in the description. So I'm gonna open this up. Same thing as always, you have the lift and open ooh, really? ooh, i'm excited let me just open this away from the microphone okay so let's take a look at the three first one two three and then i'll show you what the large one is because the large one is pretty darn cool okay so we're gonna take a look what i get what i get what i get i will laugh if this is a twig blight i'm not i'm not even kidding i don't think it should be but wouldn't that be a riot Ooh, it's a kobold all right so we have a fun little kobold Little red kobold, sword drawn. Lots of fun. Get, let me work on the focus just a touch. It's funny how once they get into that small size, you have to tweak the camera just a little bit. So we got kobold. Let's see what else is in the mix. <laughs> and then there is, ooh, okay, this one's fun. This is an Arcanaloth. Wet with the scrolls and the spell magic going, and look at that tail. The floof of a tail. Very nice. Caught mid stride. I love this pose. These are really great ways, um, talking about getting miniature supplies up there. If you're looking for creatures and monsters and everything like that, the um, monster menageries are fantastic bricks for that very purpose because of the mix and the variety you get. And there are different, there's, you know, the first, second, third type of situation. So keep an eye out for them. If you're going shopping and you check out your FLGS and you see these bricks, snag one, especially if you're looking to sort of create a more well-rounded collection of just general creatures and monsters and characters. Really a strong way to do it. And you're empty, you're empty. Aha, right? That's why I went, ooh. <laughs> and then, Ah, it's a gray slob. Look at, look at, look at, look. Right? Or is this the, yeah, it's gray. I'm like, let me make sure it's not the death. Look at this one. Uh, don't laugh, but this one kind of reminds me of like the latest Instagram post. <laughs> but again, spell effect going on here. That gnarly mouth wide open. They're fun. They're, they're fun little creatures. They're terrifying. Who are we kidding? I have yet to run, but I have encountered as a player a couple of these. Huh. Don't let them get there. Don't get don't let them to get near to you if you're playing. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and then finally, let me pop this one out carefully. Okay. And then now we have the Storm Giant Dreamwalker. Look at this one. I love all the details. This is where we're getting to. See, you go from smaller to larger. There we go. That should be better. Look at that one. Oh, I love this. So Storm Giant Dreamwalker. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> slightly traumatized by, yeah, never so slightly. It was not a good encounter as a player. Nope. Nope. Never again. That may actually be why I don't run them, just because I had such a, well, not a bad experience, but you know, like sometimes you have that encounter as a player, you're like, mm -mm, nope, I am noping it from now on. But that is the last in that bunch. So that that's who we had in our booster from the D&D Icons of the Realm, Icons of the Realms, Monster Menagerie 3 booster, which again, you can get as a brick set of eight coming out for reprint. And there are other editions too. You have one and two 
that you can check out and really great way to flesh out your collections. Absolutely. All right, I'll show you the size. See? Just to give you an idea of other ones that come in it. The other side. So see, just some fun variety, quite frankly. So that is our minis for Mini Mayhem. Are our minis, I should say. These are our minis for Mini Mayhem today. And I am so glad I got to show all of this to you. So we started off with the Yeti Tykes, which are part of the promo that we have going on while supplies last on the, that's up right now, the shop Dungeons and Dragons powered by WizKids, which is all you have to do to go there is www.dndmini.com and you can start collecting and pulling together all of your possible D&D miniatures, accessories, and then some needs from that specific store. If you so choose, you spend 100 and over and this lovely promo box will be included with your purchase while supplies last, okay? Right now US only, but please keep your ear open for more news on that. Okay, let me clarify that little point for you. And again, you get these three adorable little tykes. One, two, and three. They really are sweet, if for nothing else. <laughs> get these guys. Um, and these are not something that you're gonna find in store, so keep that in mind. They're not gonna be something that appears in store later. Um, so be aware, be prepared. And then we took a look of, let me just grab the packaging so you can see they're all taken out now, so obviously. But then we took a very detailed look at our new line, the Idols of the Realms Essential Kits right now. We looked at Monster Packs 1 and 2, as well as the Players Pack, as well as the Sidekick Pack. And like I said before, I'm going to put down the information in the description below of everything that comes in each pack, as well as the count so you know what you can expect in each one, just to give you a quick and easy reference right there. There. Uh, if you aren't uh, following us yet here on YouTube, well, hey, hit the subscribe button, please, you know, click that as well as ring the bell, and that way when I go live, you'll know when I'm doing something fun here for Mini Mayhem, you'll also get a notification when Jessa goes live for Much Ado About Gaming, which focuses on the board game sector of what we do at WizKids. I highly recommend you do check that out, especially if you enjoy finding new board games to play. And also get notifications when videos go up, like our Scott Porter unboxings for Hero Clicks as well. And uh, any other relevant links, especially to those of our social media, please check down in the description below. There are links there for you to put to use to just click through and you can follow, subscribe, like, love, whatever it is that is required for that particular platform. I think, I think that's covered pretty much everything for today. Next week, I think I'm still going to uh, be working on some more because there's more. There's more D&D stuff I want to show you. So it'll be another D&D day next week for you all. And I'm excited to show you that particular grouping as well. Um, let's see here. Uh, Manga comments. That's a question I cannot address to you today. The focus is on D&D, but thank you for asking. And uh, that is the whole of it. So I think we are pulled together and good. Thank you again, everyone who joined me in the chat. I will very much look forward to seeing you again next week. Same time, same place, different date. And I will wrap this up like I'd like to do for all of my streams. And that is to say, be good to yourselves and be good to each other. I am Muse signing off and I will see you on the flip side. Take care, everyone. Bye.